In the U.S., about 30,000 people are living with a genetic condition that causes serious damage to the lungs and digestive system, which our next guest knows all too well. Here's her story. Hi there, and welcome to the White House. I am a 30-year-old with advanced stage cystic fibrosis. And um, as you may have heard, there have been really enormous, um, game-changing breakthroughs. But unfortunately, I have a rare mutation of this rare disease, and there haven't been any breakthroughs for us. And though standing up here, I probably look like your average healthy 30-year-old. The reality is that my lungs are deteriorating, my condition is progressing, despite my hardest efforts to delay it. Emily is like this fireball. And then you like kind of take a step back and realize that she's really sick and you're, it, it's hard to like imagine how sick she is. Right now I have advanced stage CF and that is the last stage before end stage CF. When she doesn't feel well, it's very scary because she's sort of teetering on a, a very fine line of being very, very sick. One thing that weighs on me heavily is um, my, thinking about what would happen to my parents if something happened to me or to my siblings. Like, that makes me super emotional because um, I can only imagine how hard that would be for them. Like, I'm the mom. I'm supposed to protect her, you know? The thought that one infection could set her over and the scientific advances may not come soon enough for her is really frightening. That was the wake up moment for me and my family to realize that the trajectory of the science was like longer than I could wait. Please welcome Emily to the show. And <laughs> Emily, first and foremost, you're lovely, and you have this beautiful smile. One of the things that I wanted to ask you is what, what motivated you? Obviously, you're dealing with, with this really difficult illness, and yet through it all, you know, you were out there fighting and raising money and, and holding, you know, holding that flag to help find cures. What motivated you to spend so much of your energy doing that for, for not just yourself, but for others? I had no other choice. You know, yeah. it's like I could either sort of throw my hands up and be passive and accept the, the deck I was dealt, and um, I didn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And I was really, really fortunate to be surrounded by an amazing community of people who, who believed we could do it, and so yeah. we're giving it our, our best go. Emily's entourage, I love that. And, and you've done such a great job raising money. Yeah, we've raised... Um, in, since 2011, over $1.5 million. Wow. We do have a little surprise for you. Yeah. Uh, when our friends at Cigna heard your story, they wanted to help. They're going to donate $10,000 to oh your Oh, my family. goodness. Wow. Yes, and their quote is, Cigna wants to be with you. Oh, my God. That is amazing. Oh. And their quote that Cigna wants to be with you in the good times and when you need them the wow. most. That's amazing. That's uh -huh. really, really incredible. Thank you. 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 Thank